Okay, I own a 2011 Chevy Cruze, and I had this error come up on my dash, um, AC off due to high engine temp. And I did a little research, figured out how to fix it, and really it was an easy fix. Um, so I thought I'd do a little tutorial on how to fix it. Um, so here we go. So I'm not a mechanic, and I don't know if this will solve your problem. So proceed at your own risk. And know that this solved mine, and it may solve yours, but there's no guarantee. Okay, so essentially this is the tutorial on how to replace the temperature sensor. That's what solved my problem. There's two temperature sensors in this car, and I only had one that was bad. I ended up replacing both just for peace of mind. Okay, so you'll need a few things before you start. You need a screwdriver, just a flathead. You'll need some antifreeze or coolant to replace the sum that's going to spill out. You'll need uh, the temperature sensor that you're going to replace, and if you're going to do both, you'll need both, and then some gloves. Let your car sit overnight. you got to make sure this engine is completely cold, so if you can't wait overnight, at least let it sit four to six hours. Okay, so the first temperature sensor is located somewhere in this black hole. Disconnect this wiring harness. So we've got to pull this whole tube out, but before we do, you got to unscrew the clamp to get it loose. You can find the clamp right here. Okay, now just set all this tube aside. Okay, so you should see the temperature sensor right there. Go ahead and pull the wiring harness off the temperature sensor. And then look for this little clip. You're just going to peel that clip off. Be very careful. Don't drop it on the ground. Okay, so you're going to take the old plug out and you're going to put the new plug in. Be very careful because coolant's going to come spilling out. Do this as quick as you can. Okay, so that part I couldn't film because I needed both hands. So. Just try to do it quickly. Okay, so my new temperature sensor has already been installed, um, but I have a second part here, so you can see the difference between the old one and the new one. Okay, now you can put the clip back in, plug in the temperature sensor, put the hose back in, tighten the hose up, and then plug the hose back in. And that's all, that's what solved my problem, and I hope it solves yours. Um, I tried to film the one on the radiator. Okay, so for the temperature sensor on the radiator, I took this hose off. It's on the passenger side of the radiator. Um, it's really hard to get your hand in there and take the old sensor out, but it is possible. Um, you're going to lose a little bit more radiator fluid. Okay, well that all worked for me, so I hope it works for you guys. I'm going to leave a link so you guys know where to buy the part. Um, go ahead and hit that like button, and again, I hope it works out for everybody. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop me a comment.